Hey guys, now very quickly before this game begins, I've got it on pause right now, but I just thought I'd mention there is a little bit of a banging noise in the at least start to the game, maybe even the beginning of the match itself. Uh, basically, there was a shoe or people put shoes in the tumble dryer and I had no idea with my headphones on, I couldn't hear it, but the mic picked it up because the tumble dryer is below my bedroom. Uh, so yeah, I apologize for that. It might get a bit annoying in the first 5-10 minutes, but hopefully it does go away. I believe it does. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy the episode. Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. So welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series I take a Smith account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, we return to the series Platinum 3, 52 LP. Uh, currently, we're gaining about 26 LP per win. The last two games have been wins, spoilers. So if we win the next two... Uh, we actually will be in promotion series again, so that's the plan, that's what we're going to go for. As uh, always, you know, you plan on winning, go for the win, and uh, hope for the best, really. Um, so it does seem that we've got another Yasuo player. We're getting so many nowadays, like, again, I don't know why this champion is so popular. He's a very volatile champion to me, in uh, solo queue especially. Um, but it also seems that we do have a bit of a pre-made going, that we can definitely tell these two are pre-made by the same clan tag. Um, the jungler and the support. There may be others because some people don't show the clan tag. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I will say and I'll give you guys advice. Um, I would not show clan tags. Um, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, um, a silly thing to do. If I could speak English, that'd be great. The reason for it is a solo player like me. You know, if I see pre-mades on my team, I know it's going to happen. But if I see pre-mades on the enemy team... A lot of the time, if they share the same clan tag, I'm going to try and gank or I'm going to try and farm the weakest out of the three or whatever it may be people in, in a group. So if I see three people clan tagged up and I look at lol skill or whatever and I look who's the weakest, I'll go for that person the most to try put them on tilt. And because people are on Skype or TeamSpeak, a lot of the time it actually puts everybody on tilt if you just get one person in a pre-made behind. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm going to play today. Uh, usually when I record these, I kind of in my head go, I know what I'm going to play, and then just like try to lock it in, but I've got no idea. I know I want to do a Heimerdinger episode soon, and I know I want to do a Shaco episode soon, but I don't want to do Heimerdinger top. When I play Heimerdinger, it's going to be Heimerdinger mid. Fizz could be top or uh, whatever, so I think I'm just going to play Darius and hope for the best, or do I play Fiora? It's going to be one of these two. Darius is donated, so we're going to do a Duncan D episode. Let's just do it. He's been a do donated champion for quite some time, so we'll get him out the way. And, yeah, there we go. It would be great if we actually had an AP jungler, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, we're a beggar now. There we go. That's cool. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be excited for an Amumu lock-in, but it's an AP champion, so that's great with me. Right, so people go Strength of the Ages. Ooh, Gangplank. Cool. It's a fun matchup. Uh, obviously... 99% of the time, I'm on the other end of this matchup. I'm playing the Gangplank as he's my most played champion this season. Uh, it's a matchup that either of co or either of a champion can win. Uh, if Darius gets ahead, then a Gangplank can have a very hard time getting back into the game. Uh, if a Gangplank has a free farm, then Gangplank will be more useful in the late game. I don't think Gangplank... Well, I'm going to say it now and hopefully I don't eat my own words. But Gangplank shouldn't be able to 1v1 a Darius unless the Darius makes a big mistake. But if it gets the late game, uh, then yeah, Gangplank generally is more useful with his barrels and his ultimate and stuff like that. So hopefully we can do quite well. We are playing Duncan D, donated champion. We can tick him off the list after this game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. Now, as you can see, the enemy team has a 51.1% chance to win. That's probably because I've not played Darius on this account yet, so it kind of wavers that into the into the win percentage. Uh, but anyway, we have a Platinum 2, Lucian, Platinum 3, Darius as myself. Platinum 2 looks to be a complete main Yasuo, but has a good win rate and KD. Platinum 2, Zyra, and a Platinum 1, Amumu. On the enemy team, a Platinum 2, uh, Fizz, Platinum 2, Janna, Platinum 2, Ezreal, Platinum 3, Lee Sin, and a Diamond 5, Gangplank. Also interesting to note, again, let me just uh, say the point, Gangplank is my probably best champion at the moment, tied with Lee Sin. Uh, you know, I played him the most, have the best win rate on him, or most played champions, or whatever, this season. He's taken Grasp of the Undying. That tells me he's not the most confident Gangplank, um, because a confident Gangplank, in my opinion, would always go Thunderlords. Um, that's just the way I play Gangplank, and that's how like the other Gangplank players play him at high rating. It just maximizes his kit. Um, so he's going for sustain in lane, which may be a little bit annoying, but hopefully will be okay. Uh, but yeah, without much further ado, let's get into the loading, loading, um, the game itself. 
and uh, hopefully win on Darius. Okay, welcome to the game. So I'm playing Duncan D, the Duncan Darius himself. Uh, weird thing with this game, everybody was on 100% on the loading screen for a good, like, three minutes. So I reconnected, and it wasn't me. I think it's it's the, been the Amumu. And uh, now he's reconnected, so hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, that was really weird. Um, that doesn't really happen often. But, um, yeah. Darius. Uh, Darius is a champion that's up and down. You know, you can play a more passive style of Darius. You know, if you're not doing great, you can just protect people. Which, obviously, you know, you've got to adjust your play style. Um, but yeah, right. Hey, how are you doing, Gangplank? Oh, if he walked in. <laughs> People are scared of the level one. Oh my god, he is really frightened of that level one. He just uh, cancelled his auto attack too. What the hell? That's weird. Don't be that scared of a level one. Don't be that scared of a level one that you are literally going to put yourself at a massive disadvantage in lane. Like that's that's just weird. I really wanted to go on him on level one, but. Yeah, he just ran away. <laughs> uh, I haven't played this guy in a while, but he's kind of cool. Like, the thing with Darius and Garen and these type of champions is you do need to win lane in order to be really useful on them. Because they do kind of get worse the, the, the longer the game goes. You know, it's hard to explain, but basically, you know, the kite factors. People can just literally just run away if... Uh, you're not careful. Well, if, yeah, if they can just run away and kite you, and then you won't be very useful. I'm hoping bot lane's going to do good too. Because it's a pretty strong lane, that lane. And also, obviously, the Yasuo mid lane, he's got a lot more experience than the Fizz. At least in his ganking mid lane. He hit level 3 at the same time. Oh, I mucked up that one. But it's okay. <laughs> I heal pretty much it all back. It's kind of weird playing the other end of a gangplank because I never play like against him because I always pick him. Wow, that was bad. I was expecting Lee Sin to be there. Moo Moo. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if he'll give it to me. Leeson got it, are you kidding me? What's up, dude? Come on, get that Q, get that Q, get that Q, get that Q. Come on, come on now. Hit that, hit that Q. There we go. I'd have loved the kill, obviously, if I got doubles, but I don't really care. Getting their jungler in the early game is brilliant for me. Gangplank might be in there, so I've got to be careful of a barrel. All right, we're good. Getting an early game in this game, I think, is going to be pretty important. Um, mainly because, like, we do have, like, a lot of AD champions. AD champions snowball really well, but if you get to late game where they can just build a lot of armor, then you may be in a bit of trouble. I should have been focusing on the barrel. Oh, it's so weird to be playing against a champion that you play so much. Let me know in the comments if you find that weird as well. Like, you know, if you play, if you main something or you play it a lot. Do you find it weird when you have to play against it? Because it, it does kind of feel a bit weird right now. Because not many people are actually picking Gangplank at the moment. He's not actually that much of a popular pick. Which is pretty surprising. You know, a few patches ago, maybe four patches ago, he was like the most popular pick in top lane but yeah uh, also i forgot to like mention yeah so yeah he got uh, first blood i think he got first blood itself yeah he did um i'm expecting him to win you know as i mentioned he's got like what 300 games of yasuo and his opponent fizz has got like six so when you look at that kind of scale of who's played more champion who's got more experience you expect the person with more experience to win it's the one thing with counters like counters do exist they are a very real thing but in solo queue, they exist and they don't exist. If you're just brilliant at a champion, they don't really exist until you get to, like, master. Like, even in diamond, people don't use their counter, like, thing that much. Apart from when it's, like, a pure counter or, again, people just aren't great at them, them champions. Example, 
uh, like a few episodes ago, there was a Quinn. She played versus Aurelia. That's a counter. But if she was an amazing Quinn, it probably wouldn't have mattered that much. But it did because she probably wasn't playing amazing. So hopefully that makes sense. Yo ho, yo ho. Good tip to versus Gangplank is um, you run through his barrel. So when he places it, he's expecting you to run back. So you'll always put a barrel when you're running back that way. If you run towards him, he's not actually expecting that. Um, so there you go. There's just a little tip for you guys. It, the good thing about when you are playing against the champion you play a lot is you should know how they want to play and how they kind of want to set things up. Uh, because, you know, you just think in your head, what would I want to do? And there you go. Uh, again, like this lane, he's got Grasp of the Undying, so I wasn't really expecting him to play aggressive. Ooh, bot lane. Don't know if that was worth it. Oh god, Gangplank TP'd as well. I don't know if Gangplank needed a TP there. The fight was already over. Five bot lane though, Jesus. Yasuo is still mid lane, which isn't the best thing in the world. But there's not much he can do when he's got... Uh, well, actually Fizz doesn't have teleport. He's got Ignite. It's just a roam. But I guess the reason for that roam, the main reason anyway, is Fizz can't do anything versus this Yasuo. Like, yes, he just got a 1v1 kill and they traded. But that's still Yasuo getting stronger too. And Fizz had to blow blue ignite for that. And he's 20 CS down, nearly 30. So he... Nice. That's that's actually saved that completely. So that's really good. Um, so Fizz probably feels like he needs to roam in order to get some strength. He's now three kills, two deaths. So that's not that bad. Where well, Yasuo probably is a bit like, yeah, I just want to stay in lane because I know I'm pretty strong. Interesting that he didn't want to go for the E through because the E through will actually give him more damage. He might have been able to kill him if he actually eed through. I don't know. I'm not a Yasuo expert, obviously. Going Black Cleaver first item, and then we'll be eventually just going pure tank after that stage. Ooh. That's a bit too high, Fee. He did get the kill, but... Yeah. Oh, they might get that. Lee Sin's being really aggro. Close. Um, but yeah, what can the enemy team do? And like, it's some one thing people have said to me is like, hey, what, what about talking about the enemy team sometimes? You know, what's their win condition and stuff? The enemy team's win condition. Okay, so the enemy team's win condition, they have a really good pick team. So they've got a gangplank that can slow people and have barrels. So that's good in picks. They've got a Lee Sin, obviously a great pick jungler. So they've got a great pick team. They've got Fizz with his ultimate. Like, that's what their team is really strong with. So that's probably what they want to go for. They don't want to go out for, like, in late game anyway. Like, a, an all-out brawl versus us, because they're probably going to lose that. They want to just go for picks using Fizz ult, Lee Sin, you know, one, like, Lee Sin insect kicks and stuff like that. That's what the enemy team should be looking for in late game. Whether they do or not, who knows. So them, those pings, I think, are Lee Sin, so I don't need to be that careful. Um, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, this, this lane's going fine. This guy's just absolutely wrecking. Oh, it's it wasn't Lee Sin. Okay, I got a little bit baited there, but that's okay. When these pings were here, I was like, hey, Lee Sin's over there, maybe. Like, I was about to go ward. And I didn't because I saw those pings. But maybe I should have just warded anyway. That's a bit lame. Ezra returning the damage like that just basically means he's going to take free damage from Zyra. Uh, they might be able to get him. I, I, I would, If I was a Moomoo, I would have waited. Because you're not going to do that much damage as an Amumu by yourself. Okay, I stand corrected. What the... What? Oh, he's got Runic. Why do you have Runic? <laughs> what? Okay, it worked. I, I like getting proved wrong, as I mentioned throughout this series. <laughs> well played. 
Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, so like, I under like a lot of people rage out when people push the lane. It's like, why are you pushing the lane? It's like it's to deny the person you just killed. It's like, come on, that's a perfectly good thing to do. I wonder who they'll give it to. Imagine if they kill it and go, "Hey, Darius, come over here." Oh, Fizz is bot lane. Just run. That Fizz is really weak. Like he's only level seven. And Lee, Jesus. We gotta be careful, care they're doing that. I've got teleport, but I think we just gotta give it to them to be honest. That's a shame. Zyra should just ult, like just ult and do a lot of damage. Who knows? Maybe I can kill this guy. I've got flash, he doesn't, I don't think. Oh, you fighting me? Oh, he played that really well. They're minions. Oh, he played that really well. Ah, basically, if you are like, this is the problem with Darius at higher rating. People just like, as I, I think I said it a few episodes ago, the best way to counter Darius is just stay on top of him so he can't get the ring of damage. He stayed right next to me, so my Q did no damage. If the Q did damage, he would have died, and he he stayed right next to me, did no damage equals I die. He played that really well. Gotta give it to him. Like, you know, I when I do this series, I'm gonna be playing champions that I'm not the best with, so there's gonna be situations that I do get outplayed. But yeah, that's fine. Like, that, that, I just like seeing good play. That was really good from him. I don't know, like, what else I can really do as a Darius in that situation, though, other than maybe, like, flash earlier to get the Q on him. Maybe position it differently with the, with the Q. That could be the thing that I could do, I guess. Oof. But yeah. Some people will also say, oh, why are you playing champions that you're not familiar with then? It's a YouTube series, you know. I gotta show variety. I want to show variety. And it's because, you know, in the comment section, there are gonna be people that play Darius. And, like, even though I'm not a Darius player, I can probably offer insight to the champion while playing him. Because no matter if you're a Darius player or not, if you're just a diamond player, you'll know how to play the, play the champion and how to play against the champion. Alright, so there's a Lee Sin coming. Hopefully they can just kill all these people down here. I'll play safe for a little while. Ten seconds until I can ward here. Maybe I should, should just walk in here. If I walk in here, then if Lee Sin walks in, then I'll be completely fine and just wreck him a bit. Ooh. Damn, that cute. Come on. Oh, so close. My E was so close. and that He's level 11, that Lee Sin. Jesus, like, I know he's... That farm. I know he's basically been taking all the farm in mid lane whenever Fizz dies. That's why he's so high level. Like, yeah, Fizz is level 8, Lee Sin's level 11. You can see who's taking the XP there, but... Damn. Like, I'm nearly level 10. But now, obviously, it will take me longer to get level 10 now. Because we're sharing XP in top lane. Hmm... I'm not very good with that E. Kind of scared of Fizz becoming top lane now because like we're waiting around in top lane a lot, like a long time. What you have to expect is if you're say staying in lane really a long time and doing like a, a Mexican standoff or whatever, it gives the t enemy time for more people to come. It gives time for reinforcements, you know? So we just saw a spooky ghost from the support. So obviously Jan is near top lane now. Like there you go, she's just come from top lane. So. That's the one thing we're doing standoffs like that. You've got to be really careful that you don't get baited into more people coming. It's the most likely thing to happen. Anyway, Gangplank's taking a lead in this lane. Again, not that surprising. Uh, he outplayed me, and then from then, it's very hard for me to actually do a 1v1 on him now, which I'll see. That's what Darius is designed for, his 1v1s. And if Darius loses the 1v1s, which I did, hands up I did, then we're not looking so pretty. Ow. I definitely need armor. Someone gonna go help him? Uh, see, they're so focused on what's in front of them, they're getting wrecked but from behind. That wasn't good. We probably, like, Lucian probably needs the group if uh, they want to group like that. Otherwise, they're probably just gonna get wrecked every fight. But, yeah, I don't know. They shouldn't have been there in the first place without their AD carry. It's a little bit too crazy. 
They can't really get anything though, maybe apart from mid tower, because like there's no dragon, there's no baron. Then the bad thing, really bad thing actually. So Lucian didn't group, and then he knew where the enemy was, and then he got killed after. That's actually really bad. Um, because that shows that one, he's not grouping, and two, he just gets punished for not grouping as well. So that, that kind of sucks. Um, but it happens. All right, I got more items now. I, I kind of didn't realize that I had a lot of item and gold before basing. Thank you. Please don't be a fizz. Eh? Hey, I'm okay, cool. GP flash. And up. So I can kill him like that. Like, he mispositioned there, and he probably has a lot of gold himself. So I was on a power spike compared to him. So getting that kill is pretty good. I'm happy about that. Uh, can I get another 1v1 kill on him? Probably not. Like, he's probably going to be more prepared for it in the future, because he was like, he probably was surprised that I did that. But I'll take the free kill when they come. Uh, so yeah, like... That big thing in mid lane was a big mistake. You know, is it just general advice? Don't be that far, like, crazy positioned when there's no need. You know, what were you going to gain there? You know, yeah, you might get a couple kills, but the chances of that was quite low considering you were outnumbered. Um, it's just not worth the risk most of the time. Also, let me know if you if I think I've fixed the camera uh, FPS. I've got TP. Go oh, TP. Uh, because I actually installed a software that I didn't have on my PC. Basically, a, like a week or two ago, I reset my computer completely and I forgot to reinstall the actual webcam software. So maybe that gives the webcam better performance if you actually have it installed. I have no idea. Okay, I can 1v1 him really easy if I can play it correctly. Nice! <laughs> Dude, I got TP. Like, they should do dragon. I've got teleport and their gangplank's dead. I dunked you before. Yup. Yeah. It's only a minute. Sup, guys? Ethan! No, the Janna was free! The Janna was completely free! Oh my god. They should have gone for the Janna. That was really bad play. Zyra completely missed the ball on that kill. Okay, so it's a 1v1. It's not that bad. Top laner for top laner. But yeah, when Janna was right here alone, I know it's really tempting to try and get the damage dealers. We had no vision of the bush. And Janna... Uh, by the way, Zyra actually did hit that E. She did get the E down. Oh! Oh, so close. He, She did get the E down. She did hit somebody, but because we had no vision, we couldn't go on it. Janna wasn't in the bush the moment that we could have gone on her. So that was just like, you know, a little thing there that probably could make the fight go a little bit better. Not that bad, though. Completely fine. Like, one for one or... Yeah, one for one and we got dragon. I'm fine with that. It's all good. No, no, no. So I will say this Lucian plays quite a greedy game when it comes to farming, you know, being bot lane when the team are mid. Now he's going top lane on that health. I don't care him taking my farm, really. Like, obviously I do a bit, but he's that health. He can get killed any second, and it's just so greedy play. I just say, like, he's got no vision here, and it's just not worth greeding for it. Gangplank's back top lane. He's basing really greedy too. Like, oh, this guy. And now he stopped his base again. Like, yeah, don't play that greedy. It's not worth it. Okay, that gangplank played a really greedy gangplank too. Like, he didn't know where I was. I thought Leeson would be top lane. Had a hunch. A huzzy hunch, as I call it, or have called it throughout the years. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, that's the one thing with Darius. I really don't care about tanking tower occasionally. Did I miss that? Apparently I did. Oh, 
Holy, that damage. And Lucian again isn't with the team. Uh, this is going to be hard to win this game without an AD carry. Every fight we're going in, he's not there at the moment. Damn, that damage. Mm, don't even bother. Don't. We shouldn't fight without AD carry again. He can probably stop that, though, with ultimate. All he needs to do is go do a really good cull on it, and it will get them really low, low health. Come on, cull. Cull. He doesn't have it up. What the hell? What the hell? Hmm. That was pretty bad. He shouldn't have gone, like, just straight in. He should have, like, hit from the outside. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna mute the Lucian, because, like, again, he's being capped. I don't like capitals and all that. The one thing I'll say is we shouldn't have taken that fight, granted, but the AD carry is, like, never with us. Like, ever. It, it's, you know, when when can you fight if your AD carry just isn't gonna group? It's a good point to make. I wanna get this tower, though. Basically, to make sure that they don't use the Baron to full strength, just don't really fight them in a group now. I know I said, you know, our strength is fighting in a group, which is exactly what we want to do. Uh, apparently they are fighting, though. Mm, that's not good. Okay, I'll go back. Uh, but yeah, our strength is fighting in a group, but not when we don't have our AD carry. When we don't have our AD carry, we're weaker. Just got to kind of stop them doing stuff at the moment. Oh, general. She ulted without, like, really doing... Just let that tower go. Not much point out trying to hold it. Baron will wear off in like a two minutes, so it's not that bad. We can fight for the next dragon. We just basically... They'll have that tower too. God, they're going to have like three towers of Baron. That's a lot of gold. Don't even try to fight. Oof. The one thing I will say about the Amumu, he's played well. His KD's good. Why are you going full AP? I know we're mainly an AD comp, but... Uh, you're not maximizing your champion if you're going full AP Amumu. You're just going to die probably instantly. Okay, well, we shouldn't really fight any more than that. Because we can't really get in. Keep holding. Yeah, I don't know. Amumu went for a crazy engage then. Yeah, so it's getting low. Hmm. They got good poke too. Gangplank barrels and stuff. Oh, Fizz is bot lane. I'm dead. Damn it. We could have killed him if they were a bit more, like, proactive on it. As soon as you saw Fizz mid, you could have gone a little bit more aggro. Okay, exhaust. Back off, back off, back off. Hmm. If he only hit the gangplank with that. Okay, back off. They're getting absolutely wrecked by something. Ezreal, probably. Ah, this game's taking a bad turn. It's just the fights without the AD carry. Ugh. Just let it go. Uh, Yamumu also could do with getting a bit tankier. If that, if we, if we fight with our AD carry moving forward into the rest of the game, and the Mumu gets a bit more tanky, like he's getting absolutely chunked at the moment. If we stop that happening, then we can potentially win the game. Oh, really? Oh my God, Janner Ultimate. I don't know why this question mark is here. That was like a free kill. Oh, maybe they're actually talking to the Lucian who's raging. Didn't think of that. There's a lot of farm top tower. Not dead. We just got a lot of ultimates there, so that's pretty good. And he's suicided. Nice. See, we're not gonna. We're not out of the game. We just got to play it smart. Ah! 
Not like that. No, let me have the farm. I'm guessing, I'm, like, when we use the SCR, again, I don't really like when people just go full caps. It doesn't really help the situation, but I'm guessing, oh, God, is he getting Zonyas? What are you doing? Like, I understand the rage, but there's no point raging because people don't really listen. But this is Mumu's build, and I'm going to say it like this. Could potentially cost us the game. Like, it's just such a completely trash build. You're in a Mumu, right? You need to be in the middle of a team fight. You can do a bit of damage, runic echoes, if you really want to. But going full AP is just useless. You're going to not be what we need as an Amumu. We need a tanky Amumu. And you're not giving that to us. Ugh. He should be dead. That's what you get for going full AP. Just get chunked straight away. Go tank and move. I'm just gonna tilt now what you just decided you're gonna tilt. That's really, so you don't just decide that you're gonna tilt. And what would untilt you is actually building the right item. That would be that would be great. Now oh, you mixed missed this Q. Hmm. Nah. Seriously, that Janna shield. Damn it. Couldn't get the kill. Uh, we don't want to overstay because there's going to be people there. Yeah, like Lee Sin, this guy, this Lucian. <laughs> I don't know what is he doing. And he's just rage quit. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, today's episode is don't be like that Lucian, guys. Uh, sorry, that I'm dying now as well. This is bad of me, but like, ugh. <laughs> he literally just ran past us when we were all running away, died, and just left the game. Like, last episode, did I talk about rage quitting, I think? Or was it the episode before? I don't know. It's one of the two. Um, but like, the, the people that I hate the most in this game are people that rage quit or who leave the game, or even just like AFK. I know, like, some people go, oh, it's not, uh, it's not my fault. Okay, he's back. But, like, rage quitting is definitely the thing I hate the most. But, like, he, what he probably did there, most likely, was do that play and just ult F4 straight away, thinking, oh, I'm leaving the game, and then reconnected. Like, that's probably what happened. And a Moo doesn't do anything. Like, oh, Zonya's a Moo Moo, great. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, this build... He doesn't even have tier 2 boots. Oh, well. If we get Tankamumu, will this game go any different? I'm not going to say it's going to miraculously become a better game, but AP Amumu isn't helping. That's all I'll say to it. He's not going to be with us the rest of the game because he's raging out. Again, I don't know how people get so angry in a video game. Just like chill, have some fun, get a Red Bull or a Coke, play a video game for fun. I don't get it. You don't need to be angry while playing a video game. This is supposed to be a fun thing. And if you're not having fun with it, why are you playing the game? I think a lot of people play League and they don't even realize that they're not actually having fun. They're talking too much to each other now and all that stuff. Like, we don't care the backstory why you went AP Amumu. The thing is, you went AP Amumu. Ugh. Like this Lee Sin. You can just see, Lee Sin builds a good item build. He's really useful this game. He's doing really good. That's the difference between a useful item build and not a useful item build. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Oh, why? That's bad. Like, so many barren up minions. Don't engage then. Mm. 
Okay, we can hold on. Like, if we can hold on, this is... Wow, look how many plants you have. Jesus. If we hold on, then again, we just need one really good team fight later on. And we potentially could bring this game back. I just don't know how well team fights are going to go at the moment. What? I must have been so close. Why are you even near him? Uh... This is gonna hurt. Goodbye, world. <laughs> we just got wrecked. Oh well, win some, lose some. Um, it you know number of things this game. I probably could have done could have, could have done better. We got some good one v ones on the gangplank. He did a really good one v one on me. I'd say a mumu AP a mumu. That's a big reason why we lost. Uh, Yasso played quite well throughout the game, but then also the Lucian. Like you can't do a lot when like it's like a like a worker playing with damaged tools. The outcome to the product that he's making is never going to be good. So yeah, like again, these what you can learn from this episode is if you are somebody, and I see it in the comments occasionally, like, oh, how's your, tr you know, your videos are helping me not be a rager. If that is the case, if you are a rager watching this video, just look at this video as an example of what happens. Like it just doesn't help. It never helps. It only makes things worse. So yeah. That's all I gotta say about it. But anyway, we went A minus. We only lost 14 LP. That's not that bad. We're gaining like 26. So we're like nearly gaining double what we're losing. And losses happen. You know, again, you can't get tilted from one loss. Take the positives out of the game. The positives of this game is I held my own a little bit in top lane. There were a thing, you know, there's a couple of a bumpy road here or there, but we did okay. I got some nice 1v1 kills, and you know, that's pretty much it. As for damage done. Uh, we, we held our own damage too on my team, so that's also pretty good. And one thing to note, let's just make very, something very clear. This guy went full AP Amumu and still did terrible damage because Amumu isn't built for doing damage. Just go tank, just go what the champion is built for, and you'll probably be a lot more useful. But that's going to be it for today's video, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. These people are talking like crazy, but what can you do? Uh, throw, throw a like on the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.